if you're still craving chocolate and wondering about fair trade options and how exactly fair trade chocolate is certified, we're joined in Washington by Joe Winnie. He's founder and CEO of Theo Chocolate, which describes itself as the only roaster of organic cocoa beans and the first roaster of fair trade certified cocoa beans in the United States. He's joining us from Seattle, Washington. Welcome, Joe. What is fair trade chocolate? Thanks for having me. Uh, fair trade chocolate is chocolate that certifies that all the way back to the farm that workers are treated um, in uh, fairly, uh, that they have safe working conditions, that children of cocoa farmers have access to education. And uh, in order to be fair trade certified, the farmers have to be organized in a democratic cooperative. So they get to choose how the, pr the fair trade premium is spent within their communities and organizations. And, and Joe, how are you able to uh, certify or determine that uh, that these uh, uh, that the cocoa uh, is grown under those conditions? We depend on an independent third party, uh, Transfair USA, which is part of the global uh, fair trade label organizations um, around the world. And they go to the cocoa farms and the cooperatives to verify that these conditions and their standards are met. So we depend on their, uh, their inspections for the integrity of the certification. Can you talk about your own experience, Joe, uh, both in Latin America and in Africa? And where do you get your cocoa? Well, we're buying our cocoa from uh, Madagascar, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Venezuela, Ecuador, Panama, Costa Rica. And uh, I started working as a conservation volunteer more than 15 years ago in Latin America, uh, working with indigenous uh, cocoa producers in Belize and Guatemala, and really thought that I had seen um, uh, what poverty was like and the struggles that a lot of farmers have. But then when I went to Africa and was working in development projects there related to cocoa, I was absolutely absolutely um, amazed at the level of poverty. The thing, I remember the first time I brought uh, chocolate back into some cocoa farms and there were farmers who had never uh, seen chocolate. This, Even though they grow the beans that go into this product, uh, they had no idea what it tasted like and they were just amazed at the quality. And then they asked me how much um, how much does a chocolate bar cost? And I, I told them, and you know, one response was, "Well, I could feed my family for a week for that." And so that really def that redefined what it meant uh, to me to participate in producing a luxury product that is chocolate. And I, I have to say that I've um, I was changed by my experiences there. We just have a minute to go, Joe Winnie. But what do you pay um, cocoa growers, and how does that differ from the big companies? We pay anywhere from uh, two times to four times the, the uh, futures price, and we pay based on quality first. Because if the quality is excellent, then, consume, then we can make great chocolate that consumers want to buy. So we bring the farmers further up the brand equity chain and take them out of the commodity status. It's the commodity markets in and of themselves that are a large part of this problem. So our consumers uh, experience greater value in the quality of the products. They know that they're socially responsible. Responsible, and they're willing to pay more. And, and that how do money you make right a profit? Back to farmers. Well, because we have uh, we have to make sure that we're selling at a price that covers our cost of production, our cost of raw materials, and gives us enough money to be reasonably profitable. It's a it's a very fair and transparent system for us. Are you able to get word out, um, given your profit margin, that uh, these fair trade cho chocolates exist, especially on a day like oh. today, on Valentine's Day? Absolutely. We were, um, you know, one of the things that's on our, we have a lot of uh, great uh, press on our side. Uh, people are interested in this and they're looking for alternatives and um, organizations like yourself, uh, the Today Show and the New York Times have been uh, talking about our products and the work that we do. So consumers are hearing about us and um, I, I think that we're on the right path. Well, I want to thank you for joining us, Joe Winnie, founder and CEO of Seattle's Theo Chocolate. Um, we also uh, just saw that Global Exchange is sending the CEOs of major chocolate companies bouquets of fair trade certified flowers with a note attached calling on them to make a real commitment to ending child labor on cocoa farms in West Africa. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report, Juan.